Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. We're playing Super Mario, Paper Mario, I should say, the Origami King. We just beat the Fire Value Mental, which means we can now move on in our search for the end of this yellow ribbon. Um, oops, I don't know. I hit that. I'm looking for... We left our car somewhere right here. Now that we have the car or the car, the Valumental, we can go ahead and we can search for this ribbon. I don't know if there's anything back here that we haven't already seen. There's lots of stuff back here, but I'm after the towers right now. Dare I dream to meet the Ancient One. Here's a tower. We have the Valumental now. And if you remember, we needed that to do the towers. Now, while Mario's heading over, it is a great time to go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Get out. Let's see if Olivia has anything to say. Do you think we should explore those lanky towers a little bit more? Um, I do. Let's go in and see. Okay. Read. To find my eye would be a feat unless you look around my feet. See, I was right. I've added the translation to my notes. You can press L to read any time. I was right. That thing that's by the feet. So if we don't hammer it... Is it like a dig thing? Because we can do that too. Go ahead and dig. Yes! That's what we needed. Diamond jewel. Okay. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and put it in the eye. Okay. A diamond shaped jewel can fit there. Beautiful. Ooh, it fits perfectly. How cute. I think it's more than cute. Ooh, the stone you put in there is sparkling so brightly. What's happening other than this pretty light show? Something. What was that? The tower is turning. Uh, oh, it's like a laser. Pointing to the underground ribbon. Okay. I've got it now. I know what we need to do. Ack, what was all that shaking? Why did we all fall down? What just happened? Okay, so it turned and it pointed to the ribbon underground. Which means we need to find the other towers and get them to point. Look at that lanky guy. Isn't he facing a different direction now? Maybe he just wanted to look at something different. Okay. Saving. Always saving. Let's get back in our car. Now, we'll head in this direction. That's where it points. Now, where do we find... Is there a lanky guy? Yeah, I see a guy in the direction. Oh, I see a guy over there. But is this where we need to be? There's a lot. Oh, there is a tower here. Okay. With a triangle stone. Wow, still another one. Is this the tallest one yet? Let's get out of our car and see what it says about the triangle stone. Ooh, fire value mental. So we need to fill this in. Coins. Read. Oh. Read, not throw. Beneath the feet of twins entwined in needles, there the eye you'll find. The feet of twins entwined in needles. Cactus? It's the only thing I can think of. I've added the translation to my notes. So we have to go out and find two cacti, and then we'll need... We'll need the fire valumental to... Oh, look at all the little friends! We'll need the fire value mental to, um, let's pull these guys out, to light the fire. 
Morbid stuff, huh? What? Oh, that was a bad guy. Did not see that coming. I thought it was a mushroom. Okay. Um. No, I want to do this. There we go. So we'll go ahead. All we have is boots. So we'll just boots these guys. Got some coins for it. Go ahead and boot them again because that's what we have. I'm pretty sure we have other boots. I just forgot to load them. But I mean, really? Okay, well, they're down, like, hurt, thanks to the professor. What is he doing? He just dropped a guy. Oh, but he's down. Ooh, I didn't realize how low our power was. We're going to have to eat a mushroom when we get back to it. There we go. Let's go ahead and boots these guys. There we go. Done. Okay, so he's gone. We get a bunch of coins and a bunch of confetti, which is all very handy. Let's take a break and grab a mushroom. Perfect, so we're not so underpowered. And let's go ahead and, yeah, we have some iron boots. We have shiny iron boots. We have flashy boots. Let's go ahead and put those in. We have a shiny hammer. Oh, we have lots of shiny hammers. Switch them out. Okay, I think we're good now. Let's pull these guys out. Free at last. Okay, one more. Awesome. I need closure. <laughs> I don't blame you. One more. Did you know that we all have skeletons inside our bodies? I did know that. Confetti bag. Fantastic. Okay, we're trying to stay away from the bad guys while looking for twin cacti. And those two look like twins. I think this might be... This might be our go-to. Yep. <laughs> we were right. Triangle Jewel, protected by two cacti. Okay, so that was awesome. It just looks like a mushroom. <laughs> like a very obvious mushroom. Okay, so we got what we needed. We're going... More confetti. They give off a lot. We're gonna go back to the tower. Let's go ahead and get this all set up. Alright, so... Whoa, it's spinning. Could it be the Fire of Valumental's magic circle? Obviously it is. We can skip that. We've seen her transform. She just needs to uh, light it up. That eye is just not gonna work without the fire. Olivia, you burned up amazing. They didn't teach this in school, and I minored it in regenerative emulation. Em emulation? Wow, I really lit up this space. You did. Oh my gosh, I set all of that black water on fire. I think that was tar. Now it's bright in here. Wow, good lighting sure makes a difference. Absolutely. Was someone else supposed, or was something else supposed to happen other than the lighting being improved? Yes, obviously we have to put this in. Triangle jewel. Okay, so. Lanky guy number two is going to turn and point his light. Amazing.
I knew what was going to happen this time, so I didn't fall down. <laughs> Alright guys, let's head back out. We are making headway. Wow, this one changed direction too. Yeah, it's all pointing, saving, all pointing to that thing in the ground. So let's, let's drive. And now I think we want to head, we're going to head back to the town because if you remember, there were those two gates and I'm thinking just by general direction of the tower, that's where we need to go. Yeah, these guys over here. Good day, key holder. As a guest of the hotel, you're welcome to use this exclusive door to Scorching Sandpeeper Far West. Thank you. And if I'm right, this should... Oh, why am I throwing confetti? This should bring us to where we need to be. Probably should have got that before I broke everything. Hindsight's a lot. <laughs> All right, back into the car. Let's find... There he is. Oh, no. Okay. I love finding these tall, lanky guys. I agree. Let's get out of here. There's a ghost there. This is the circle one, and we already have it. We found this one completely by fluke. Eclipse the sun above the lake, a buried eye is yours to take. Yeah, I've added the translation to my notes. We already found this one by accident earlier on. Bang, we're good. Now we just need Olivia to light it up. Here I go. Do you want to skip the whole performance? Absolutely, we do. Beautiful. Here we go. Okay, the symbol is like almost done. Okay, the guy, the professor fell. Professor, are you okay? Oh, oh yes, yeah, sorry about that. I suppose I'm not as swashbuckling as some of my colleagues. All right, moving out. We're gonna go ahead and save. Yeah, it is pointing. Now this tower is facing in a new direction too. They must all do that, huh? I would say by now that's kind of a given. Let's right, hop in the car. Off we go. Not too worried about the bad guys because if we hit them hard enough with our car, they're just going to explode. Okay, we already opened this door. Alright, so we should find, yeah, another tower. Let's go find out where the pieces. I see a lot of little mushroom guys around here too that we can help. Alright, let's see what it says. Near walls of waves, a fire's place, an eye is there by earth encased. Near walls of waves. Walls of waves, a fire's place. I've added the translation. Okay, walls of waves. Where? I don't even know. Why do I keep doing that? And we don't have it, right? No, we definitely don't. I was hoping maybe we did. Walls of waves. Walls of waves. So. Well, is this walls of waves? Is it down here? Is this like a thing? Yeah, they're all coming at us. It's gotta be here. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. 
They kind of ran. Here we go. No, that was coins. That ancient mention about walls with waves is so strange. Could it be a wall with waves drawn on it? Warning. Dig at your own risk or just don't. Okay. A wall with waves drawn on it. Yeah, I don't care for those things. A wall of waves. There are no walls of waves here. I thought those walls kind of look like waves. Would it be in here? Ooh, car parking. Oh yeah, I forgot about the parking. Yeah, park our car. Thanks. Is it in here somewhere? A wall with waves drawn on it. Keeping our eyes peeled for walls with waves drawn on it. Dig here for a surprise. Maybe it's treasure. This... Well, it's coins. I'll take it. Treasure. Did somebody say treasure? Gimme, gimme. Or I should have tried digging even though I couldn't read the sign. Yeah. Walls with waves. Or, or waves? Yeah, walls with waves. If I could speak. Hmm. We're all powered up. Inside, maybe? Like, inside the pal or the hotel? That's the only thing I can think of. Walls with waves. I love this place. Heading in. Walls with waves. None of these have waves. No. Yeah, no. Huh. It can't be upstairs, could it? Like, we've already read all of these. None of these have waves. Fire's burning in my chest to call your name. Yeah, we've already read that. I want to do the song and dance again. I thought maybe that was something. Walls with waves. So, not in here. one we couldn't open. Now is there like some secret to that? Maybe through this room? think we should explore those lanky towers a little bit more. Uh, we did, but I didn't see a wall with waves. So obviously I'm way in the wrong direction. Keeps telling us to go check out the lanky towers more, which is great. 
that where the wall of waves is? Because I don't see one around here. We already found that one because the sun was eclipsing it and I don't see any walls with waves painted on them. It's all very confusing. Okay, a wall with waves. Okay, I'm thinking we know it's not there. This is Scorching Sandpaper Miner. We don't want to be in the Miner. There are a lot of areas that we haven't checked out. And I remember seeing ruins. So... Look for wall- Yes! I see it! I see walls. Ah! see walls with... Oh, Mario. Go. I see walls. I can't get through there. I can get through there. Cannot get through there. Oh, we went down a hole. I see walls. So I'm thinking I was right, but we just need to get there. So here we go. Not that way. There we go. Hop out. And this is a fireplace, and this is walls with waves. So this has to be it. Am I super wrong about this? No, I was super right about it. Yes. <laughs> okay, we found our square jewel, which means now we can hop back in our car. Get away from... Ah! This guy. Treasure chest. Might as well get our treasure paper macho boo. Okay, thank you for that. We're just gonna leave this guy and we're gonna bump our way out of the ruins and back to... Ooh, I don't like those. Back to our tower. Now we have to head all the way back. Okay, and going through. Okay, let's get to this tower. Pop out. There is a little friend over here, so we're just gonna help them really quickly. Because I feel bad. There we go. Ha, ah, thanks. Who do you think built those towers? Like, they were just meant to be a cool background for selfies. <laughs> um, sure. Go put this square stone in. All right, the stone is in. Now we have to do the valumental to light it up, and this should be the last one. Do we want to skip the performance? Absolutely, we do. All right, it's happening. That should do it. That is the fourth one pointing to where the yellow ribbon is and the entire symbol showing it's the Earth Valumental symbol. Wait, I don't need to fall down, do I? I'm floating. Why did everybody else fall down? That's like the third time. Yep, this one turned also. They're very smart, very astute. All right, that's all of them. So let's get in the car and head over to wherever that is pointing. 
and get the Earth Value Mental to open up whatever gate that is. Okay, so it was pointing over in this direction. Right here. Ah, Professor, this is where the yellow streamer seems to end. We know it goes deeper, but we can't dig down to reach the spool and disconnect it. Very well, allow me to translate the ancient inscription. When darkness looms, the desert sand entombs the Temple of Shrooms. Oh no, it doesn't say anything about how to get into the sand. Well, I think, my goodness, it must be a reference to the Temple of Shrooms. Could it be that the ancient temple is buried here, slumbering beneath the sand? Whoa, that would be amazing! I'm imagining falling asleep under the sand without a bed or blankets or anything like that. Maybe when we wake up the temple to get the streamer, we can ask how it did that. Well, this looks different. Did something light up? Was this here before? Whoa, could it be the Earth Value Mental's magic circle? The amount of talking that goes on with these guys. I don't want to read it. We've already read it. I want to jump up. All right, value mental power. We're gonna skip it. We have seen Olivia transform. There she is. Oh, she is. Bringing up the temple. But the streamer is wrapped around the entrance. Goodness, this must be the Temple of Shrooms itself. So this is what is meant by desert sand in tombs. Ah, oh, the ancient ones did love a good cryptic hint. Now that the temple is awake, do you think we can follow the streamer? It leads into the crack, see? You're right, the streamer certainly appears to terminate inside the temple. Come on, let's go find the entrance. Down the stairs. Is this just, oh, more confetti bags, which I think is handy. Good. And the entrance. Hmm, yes, it seems that this may be the final resting place of the ancient king Shroomsies. I've also discovered that a sort of safety mechanism was responsible for burying the temple in the sand. When the sun went out, the temple retreated into the earth for safekeeping. Oh, so the temple wasn't just taking a nap or something. Uh, no, it's a king's temple, so it was designed this way to ward off intruders, interlopers, infidels, and, uh, unauthorized visitors. In any case, we should be quite careful as we explore. This temple is almost certainly rigged with traps. Okay, so I'm guessing those are traps because they are chasing us. Get out of here. Okay. What? There was no avoiding that. It just dropped from the ceiling. Okay, line them up. It awed us, but okay, we've got um, some iron boots, so let's do this. And shiny iron boots, because why not? Okay, that got rid of four of them. The professor. <laughs> He threw dirt at them and nothing happened. Ow! They wanna. Ring moves.
This is in no way gonna help me. Lineup blocked. Let's go. We've hit three of them. Yes! Thank you, Professor. Finish him off, attack power up. Let's go. That should do it. Awesome. Check. Ah, dead end, or is it? In archaeology, one never knows. Okay. Ah. Read. The left sign is more useful. Oh. Okay, but how do I get to the left sign? I'm missing something here. Oh, we got a mushroom, so that's something. Shiny mushroom. The left side? More useful. That doesn't get us anywhere. But how do we get to the left side? Olivia. Ooh, it's frustrating that there aren't any stairs on the left. Could we dig up a clue somehow? Okay. So we need to use Professor. Up with you. Could we dig up a clue? Obviously, we cannot dig up a clue because it is not helping me. Oh, we got a confetti bag. That's fantastic. Where could we dig up a clue? That's where we can dig up a clue. Thank you, Olivia. Thousandfold arms. Grip. And tear off. There's our stairs. Okay. That's better. Ah, this one is very complex. The grammar is of an ancient type, even for ancient writing. Goodness, even the interrobangs have been reversed. This will take me some time, I'm afraid. Or oh, it's so confusing. I think we need him to stay on that one. I think that's where it's going. See, because it's kind of lit up on the door and now he needs to process. But we can move this one and yeah. Door open. Can you keep that racket down while I'm translating? Now, where was I? You were nowhere. We're going in. Whoa, when did that happen? To be honest, I could spend a few more hours on the left set of the decks, but I suppose the time isn't right. Very well. Onward. Thanks, Professor. It's quite dark in here, even for an ancient temple. As a scholar and scientist, I don't believe in ghosts or similar nonsense, but I don't like this feeling. Yeah. Oh! Show yourself, ghoul! Okay, he's waving his shovel. It was my own shadow. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> Poor professor. He's so scared of literally everything. Although, whatever that is, is big. Okay, now tell me you saw that. Was it just a strange shadow? You can't tell me. It's just my imagination. Well, we need to uh, fill in this hole here. We can't go any further without it. Right, a bunch of coins. Ooh. Oh! He just s smacked us. I don't even know what that was, but it hit hard. Okay, there's that thing. 
Was it something? Tell me it was nothing. I must take it out of here to publish my findings. I must make it out of here, sorry, to publish his findings. Oh my goodness, we need to find more confetti. We have found a save point, so that's something. I'm just, oh, okay, it's nothing there. I thought maybe there might be something down there, but no, but there is a save. So that's something. This whole thing is kind of horrifying. Oh, and the door shut. That's never good. Oh, they're mummies. They're giant mummies. That's all right. We can we can get these guys. Plus, the confetti is going to be super helpful. Now mummies. Yeah. They're not very bright though, so we're just going to Oh, no, no. You guys go away. There we go. We knocked knocked it off the one. Got him again. Ooh, look at them chase us. Got him again. Look at this guy coming at us. They're not very bright. Ah. What? Well, look out for all those holes. Be careful, Mario. Oh, he tried to hit us into the hole. I need to lure him out of the holes. Or do we step on this? Okay. That's what we need to do. We need to uh, knock the seal off this guy. Poor professor is having a moment. Okay. Oh, at least we're filling up our confetti. Oh, the holes. Oh, the holes. Can you come over here? Here, we'll just... Boop. Hold's gone. Oh, don't hit me. Gone. And the door opened up again, so Professor, you can calm down. Uh-oh, thank you for taking care of that. I would have helped, of course, but I'm literally terrified of my own shadow, as you have seen. Yeah, we've seen... No big deal. All right, we filled up our confetti, which is great because we were running low. Now we can head deeper in. That can't be good. How curious what could possibly be attracting the attention of that many spiders. Ooh, there's a pair of twitching toad's feet in the middle of those spiders. Get out of here, spiders. Oh, he's stuck to me. Get off me. Sorry, professor. Will you poor thing, are you all right? Oh, God, he has no face. Nope. <laughs> Olivia's looking through it. Is this toad not all right? Everything looks normal from here. Toad, did something happen to your face? Oh no, Toad's face is gone. The way she was looking through it. Toad's face is gone, Toad's gone, his face is gone, Toad's face gone, face Toad is. Toad's face is just not there. Oh, I hope it doesn't hurt. Oh, I think the Toad is trying to talk to us. Toad, can you hear me? You still have ears somewhere on your head. Would we call it or is it a hat? Anyway, say something. I guess no face means no mouth. Now, who would do this to a poor toad for no reason? Let's read the script. Personal intermittent number 1423. I feel like that's important. 1423. But for what? Oh, I think I know. We can open that door, but see, there's little things here. So one, four, two, three. One, four. Two, 
three. That just opened a stairwell. I feel like that is also important. We opened a door to the side, but there's a reason that this opened. I don't like this. Not a fan of any of the... Oh no! I feel so bad, Pole. Okay, guys. That's really all I can do. Hmm. What? Eek, what is all of that? There's so many of them. I am an archaeologist, not an archaeologist, but it seems to be a massive spider web. Well, I don't like the looks of it at all. Those poor toads. Unfortunately, I don't think we can help them from here. Maybe we can get below them somehow. But how? This guy! Stop hitting me! Alright, ghost fight. <laughs> Line them up. This looks pretty simple. One, two. Was it two over or three over? I'm gonna get. No, it was three over. Ghosts are horrible. Flashy boots. <laughs> well, we hit him hard. Professor! Yes! Coming in for the win. Enemy's turn. Like, there's really nothing he can do. Oh, he. Us. I mean, in this case, it doesn't matter where he is because there's only one of them. Flash boots. Alright, boo. Bye bye. Okay. Under coin. Ah! Oh, bad guys. Bad guys, bad guys, bad guys. Hurt. Oh. Deep, deep vibes. One of the DJ sound discs. I don't even know what that is. Hey, you found some kind of shiny disc. It's pretty. Yeah, I don't even know. What is this? What is this? Okay. I, d I don't even know. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Some coins. Do we just hit all of them? This place is so big, I hope we don't get lost. Thanks, Olivia. I'm just hitting them all. Okay, there are symbols, so... A star lights your way. A star lights our way. Do we see a star? Yes, this is a star. So we have to hit these? Three, four, five. And these ones? I could be very wrong here. I'm just guessing complete. Okay, Mario, if you could just hit that, that would be phenomenal. No, I think we're right. Nice! So that created some stairs. Fantastic. Hopefully these are... Nope, coins. I'll take coins. And confetti? Absolutely. Alright, bad guys. Can we just sneak past you? Hold it! <laughs> We gotta frisk ya. Hey, it's a job. Okay.
No, I don't even know how to make this a thing. Don't leave enemies too long. Yeah, I got that. I didn't mean to hit that. I meant to hit that because it'll at least give me that for a start. Flashy boots, let's go. Let's go again. Okay, we got rid of four of them. Thank you, Professor. There's only two left. What are they doing? Oh, they're gonna... Oh, well that was mean. And you took out your own guy. Now finish them off. Let's go. Professor, you threw dirt. All right, let's just finish this guy off. All right, Mario. Awesome. More coins, more confetti. Mighty fine shiny iron boots you had there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Confetti and coins. Yes, please. Um... Well, this is fun. I don't know what's happening, but my hips suddenly started shaking by themselves. Uh, I'm at a loss for words. This is unlike anything I've ever seen in my study of the antiquities. And that crown jewel in the center of the ceiling is simply stunning. I wonder what's inside. Dare I say it belongs. Sorry to interrupt, Professor, but there's the streamer. It looks like it's going into that door, doesn't it? Hey, DJ. Uh-oh. You call that music? I call it a racket. Stop scratching around and put on something I can dance to. If I ain't moving to the groove when the needle drops, I'm gonna collect your face like a limited edition 7-inch single. Yo, 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 don't do that. I'll cue up something groovy with the quickness, my man. Mario, you've got to save me. This guy is such a weirdo. He keeps asking for groovy music to cut a rug to. Do I look like I'm 100 years old? I'm a DJ man. I have no idea what that means. My face is at stake here, y'all. My face. You've got to help. No, not your face. That's where you put your sunglasses. Anyway, what's wrong with the song that was just playing? I happen to think it was quite groovy. I don't know, this guy's taste in music makes no sense to me, but he's very opinionated. He doesn't like any of the music that I put on and he won't come out of that room. Anyway, here's how you can help. I dropped some of my sound discs on the way in here. Maybe one of those discs has a tune this guy will actually like. I'll try to buy some time while you're looking, just get those discs and bring them back to me. There's four of them, yo. Four discs we have to find. Ooh, whoever's in that room is the one taking all those poor toads faces so we've got to get him out of that room and somehow reface those toads but what kind of music is groovy enough to get him out of there um i guess that's something we have to find out okay Ooh, got a thousand coins i'll take that and a save Um, there's big- oh, look at the poor toads! Oh, and tear off. Why am I throwing confetti? Okay, so is this like a thing? This brings us like way back to the beginning. Open. Oh! <gasps> Heartbeat Skipper, one of the DJ sound discs. Heartbeat Skipper. Okay, that's good. We want that. Should we just continue? Okay, we've been through here. Now, was there anything? No, there was nothing that way. I'm just remembering there was this, so... Yeah, 
I feel like this is important. Not like in any of these guys. No, go away. And then the ghosts are all going to disappear. So the ghosts are already in a line. I only did that because I already knew these guys were in a line. <laughs> Let's go ahead and boots them. And again. Oh. Shiny boots. Let's go, booze. Okay, that gets rid of them. And then gets rid of them, so there's two left. If he's gonna lick me again, I'm just gonna not... Yeah, he is. He's 100% gonna lick us. Alright, Spidey. Now finish them off, because there's only two... That should do it. Awesome. More coins. I don't want this guy to go away. Is this a disc? No, it's a treasure. Fire value mental statue. Great. I'm all for that. But what we want is a disc. No! It's another one of these things. Not saying that you're you're bad. It's just we need to find discs. So that helped us in absolutely no way. Ugh, the ghosts disappearing make my life one, two. Um, that's not a bad lineup. I am not mad about it. <laughs> I'll take it. Yes. Now we can finally shiny hammer these guys. Thank you. Beautiful. Done. Puzzle completion and no damage. Amazing. More coins and confetti. We'll take it. All right, let's keep heading out. I'm not really feeling the groove in here, Mario. Let's look somewhere else for the sound discs. Well, I gathered, I gathered that. I'm not feeling the groove in here either. And I don't even know. How do you get below them? Coins, confetti. Not feeling like this guy either. And there was nothing here. Been here, done that. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Is there any discs in here? I'm not really feeling the groove in here. Okay, so at least she lets us know whether or not we're on the right path. Thanks, Olivia. Okay, we're back here. We're on the hunt for some sound discs. There is a downstairs. We're definitely going to save. We'll take a quick peek, and then if not, we will continue this mission later. Ah! Dance with us. I thought they literally meant dance. No, they meant fight with us. It is what it is. 
we'll go after these guys. They're easy. Perfect. Who else are we going after? The ghosts for sure. Maybe the professor will help. Nope, that's us again. Flash boot them. Yes. See you guys later. That leaves two left. Oh. Thank you. Two left. Shiny iron boots. Let's go. That should do it. Done. At least we're ranking up a lot of coins. Racking up, I should say, a lot of coins. Oh, and like even more. Fantastic. Okay. What are you feeling, Olivia? I'm not feeling the spiders. Like, there's a lot going on here. Um. That looks like a disc. Do I want to push it? Or do I want to... Can I just jump on it? Yep! Max power! <laughs> you got it. There's like... Check. Look at these markings, almost as if something was dragged across the floor here. Is this like a dig it up kind of deal? No. I feel like... Yeah, we checked. There's something on the other side of the wall. You've tried hitting everything with a hammer, right? Obviously not. Everything. <laughs> I'm... I feel like I, now I've hit everything with a hammer. No, <laughs> I did not hit that with a hand. Oh! Okay. Some coins and... To wake the moon and make a run, the power of ten must push as one. It's left by three above the sun. It's left by three above the sun. Okay. Oh, the disc! Yes. Oh, we are good. We are so good. Oh. Valumental arms. Obviously, we need... Or valumental arms. Thousandfold arms. What? Grab. And it... Gave us the disc. Thrills at night. One of the DJ sound discs. Thrills at night. I'm pretty sure. Oh, go away. I'm pretty sure that is one, two, three, four. Yes, we've got them all. Okay. That's amazing. Ten must push as one. Three above the sun. One. Two, three, like, is it this? Push. I don't think you're strong enough to open it by yourself. You haven't much, and I haven't much to offer strength-wise. Um, okay, we head back then. And we'll figure out the rest of this puzzle. Ah, go away at a later date. This is definitely... A tricky one and there's obviously a lot more to be done to get to this yellow streamer so we're gonna go ahead and save and continue the rest of this adventure in the next video um, I'm really happy with what we accomplished today 
We got all of the towers to turn. We now know where the yellow streamer is going. We've made our way through most of the Temple of Shrooms. There's a few more obvious puzzles that we need to figure out to get to that streamer or find out who's behind that door. So that will be in our next video. I want to thank you guys though so much for watching and playing along with me for liking and subscribing. And we'll be back with more Paper Mario, the Origami King.